Hello and welcome to the Cyber One YouTube channel. My name is Ray and in this video we are going to assemble a demo of a Spur Gear gearbox. Uh, Lars B is the creator of the files for this and there will be a link to the files in the description. Um, this is actually the second of his uh, projects that I've printed and like the first one I'm going to paint the gears a nice blue color uh, this blue and I'm just going to outline all of the cut points for the cutaway with this nice red uh, the last gear box I did the uh, worm drive actually turned out quite nice okay. As you can see from this one and it works quite well so based on that I'm going to do this next one using the same color scheme I'll put a link in the description to this the build of this gearbox as well
Okay, so this build was uh, an easy one. The uh, spur gear is uh, a commonly used reduction gearbox throughout industry. This one has 12 teeth on the small gear and 23 teeth on the larger gear. It's then repeated with 12 on this gear and 23 on this one again. That gives us a ratio of around 23 to 12 or uh, 1 to 1.9166. That is, if we turn this 1.9166 times, we'll get one full rotation over on the large one. This is repeated here, so a reduction that reduces going this way again. You multiply those ratios together, uh, in this case 3.67361 to 1, which means we turn this 3.673 times to get one full rotation out on this side. So that's how our rotation work, our, or our reduction works there. Going back the other way, however, uh, you've also got a torque increase as you go through. So while we're reducing the speed, you are increasing the torque. So if we put one newton meter on here of torque, turning it, you'll get 3.63 newton meters of torque coming out the other end. Unlike the worm drive, which I did last time, this is back drivable. You can uh, apply torque in through here, you'll get a reduced torque out through here, but you will get an increase in speed as you go through this way. So one rotation here will result in 3.6, uh, 3.67 rotations on the, amp, the input side over here. We don't normally do it that way in industry, uh, not normally required, unless you've got to spin something very fast, which uh, usually is done with a belt system rather than a gear. Yeah, so this was a, a relatively easy assembly uh, and I think it turned out quite well. Uh, Lars B who created this uh, has created one more gearbox in his series and that's the bevel gear and so I'll print that one off and uh, assemble that one as well to see when I do that one. Don't forget to click on subscribe and ring that notification bell. If you like this series of videos, uh, click on like. It tells the YouTube system that you do like that type of content. It does help this channel out immensely and it costs you nothing. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.